It's about time to start making some profits. So in today's video, we're going to be counting down the top 15 watches that you should be drop shipping in 2024. So I'm pretty sure some of you right now are wondering why watches? Exactly what I've been asking myself. Let me tell you that just like jewelry and accessories, watches is one of the most widely gifted items pretty much ever. Watches are pretty much the perfect gift for practically any occasion for both men and women. You can give them for a birthday, a graduation, Christmas, Valentine's Day, and pretty much any gift giving holiday or celebration. It's an extremely useful accessory. And on top of that, it's a pretty cool, fashionable timepiece. People choose their watches on functionality as well as aesthetics. So it's important that we have watches that not only look good, but of course that are functional. Nice watch. Although I will say there's a lot of people that wear a watch just for the aesthetic. So just for the look of it, I know a ton of people that have watches that don't even have batteries anymore. They just wear them because they look cool or because they look good with what they're wearing. Now, before we get started, let me know what your favorite type of watch is down in the comments below. Or do you even wear a watch in the first place? I want to know what type of watch it is that you wear. And let me know also if it made it to the countdown. Also, what are your thoughts on dropshipping watches? Do you think it's worth it? Do you think it's a waste of time? Pun intended. I want to know all of your thoughts down in the comments below. And with that, Let's get to it. So the first watch style that we're going to cover is the smartwatch. Now, everyone and their mothers at this point pretty much has a smartwatch. Typically, they're going to have either a Samsung or an Apple watch, but those can be pretty expensive. And a lot of the times those have to be put on a payment plan for you to be able to even afford them. These can cost upwards of a thousand dollars sometimes. And because of that, a lot of people look for certain alternatives when it comes to smartwatches, maybe from a different brand or a lesser known brand than Samsung and Apple. Look, realistically speaking, when it comes to smartwatches, they're all going to have primarily the same functions. They're going to have GPS, they're going to have Bluetooth, they're going to have a fitness tracker, they're all going to have a touchscreen display, and most importantly of all, they're all going to connect to your phones. That's pretty much what people want their smartwatches for, primarily speaking. Duh, obviously. People are going to want their smartphones mostly to connect to their phone, to either be able to talk through it or to be able to simply send messages or read any quick notifications on it. Now, like I mentioned earlier, smartwatches pretty much all have the same type of functionality. What is going to differ is going to be, of course, the price and the size or the shape. So taking a look through here, you can see that generally speaking, most of them are either going to be round like this one, like a Samsung or a Google Pixel watch, but you're also going to have the more traditional square ones that look like your typical Apple watch. Now, it's very important to note that whenever you're offering any of these types of watch styles, you never reference Apple or Samsung because that is when they can start to hit you with any type of copyright infringement and things like that, honestly, are best left just completely untouched. So when you're talking about your products, whenever you're marketing them, when you're showing them off, are you going to write this down? Don't talk about Apple don't talk about Samsung. Just talk about them as their own brand or their own watch. Also, it kind of helps create your own brand identity as well. You can make it look like you're a fierce competitor against Google Pixel Watch, Samsung watches, and Apple watches. Next up, we have fitness watches. Now, fitness watches are going to be very very similar to your typical smartwatch, except the main difference is that most fitness watches are going to be primarily for fitness tracking. So they're going to track your movement. They're going to track your heart rate, how much you've worked out, how much you've exercised, how much you've moved, and maybe even your sleep patterns. But that's pretty much it. Some watches are going to have some phone functionality. So you might be able to send messages, answer phones, maybe change the song that you're listening to. But for the most part, they're going to be used primarily for fitness tracking. And that's going to be what most of their features are going to encompass. So while you are going to have some features from a typical smartwatch, not all of them are going to be there. But looking through some of the options that you have here, you can see that most fitness watches are going to be integrated with your typical smartwatch. But if you do choose to go with one that's specific for fitness, you can save a few bucks. So your customer can also save a few bucks. Next up on the third spot, we have sports watches. Now, sports watches are going to be primarily used for sports or for fitness. So one of the biggest difference with these is the fact that you're going to find these in practically only digital format. So they're all going to have digital numbers, digital dates, digital stopwatches, digital everything. They're not going to be touchscreen because it's going to be more of your typical type of watch. It's going to be more of your traditional style watch, except these are going to be the ones that mostly coaches use or certain athletes. These are primarily used for their stopwatch functions. And a lot of the times they also use their stopwatch functions to be able to track a heart rate or somebody's pulse. Now, taking a look at some of the options that they have 
over at AliExpress, you can see that most of these are going to be in the style of either Casio's or G-Shocks. Now, Casio is this one right here, or that's not the brand, but that's the style. And these are the more classic watches. These are the ones that you see way back in the day. These are some of the starter digital watches. And the other one has to be the G-Shock style. These are probably one of the better known sports watches, G-Shock I'm talking about. And they're pretty much weatherproof throughout all conditions. They're super rugged. They can get wet. You can sweat on them. You can bang them on the wall. You can bang them on desk and absolutely nothing is going to happen to them. They're extremely durable watches. Next up, we have luxury watches. Now, some of these are going to mimic the styles of either Rolexes, Burberries or Movados, along with a few other brand styles. So looking through some of the different options here, you can see that this one is actually mimicking Citizen or it's claiming it's Citizen, but I would never sell that primarily because Citizen is actually a very big watch company. And again, copyright laws, copyright infringement, just don't deal with that. But looking through some of these other ones, you can see that they do have some pretty fashionable styles, some pretty luxurious styles. So take a look at this one right here. This one actually comes as a set, which comes with the diamond watch. And it looks like it also comes with a diamond bracelet. So they have the single piece, which is just a watch, but then they also have the set that comes with the bracelet. Now that is one thing that I do want to mention when it comes to selling watches. If you're offering watches, if you're offering accessories, try to offer them in bundles, try to upsell your customers, try to see if there's anything that would go well with their purchase because when somebody purchases a watch, especially women, a lot of the times they're going to purchase a bracelet to go along with it or a ring or just something that complements it. That's called stacking, being able to stack different accessories on top of each other or next to each other that all complement one another. I, uh, I love stacking beans. Now, before we continue any further, I do want to mention that a lot of the things that I'm talking about right now actually come from personal experience. At one point, I worked in the jewelry and watches section in a very high end store. So I have a lot of experience with jewelry, watches and accessories. And trust me when I say that stacking is something that a lot of people do and a lot of people look for. It is a perfect opportunity to be able to upsell and increase your average order value. Now, another quick tip when you're offering different types of watches is try to offer some unique ones. Offer some that are not typically seen in your regular store. The perfect example being this one right here. This one has a luxurious style to it and it also has a unique look to it. It has a diamond cut bezel, so the entire side of it looks like it's cut like a diamond and the band itself looks to be magnetic with a clasp. So it looks to be a pretty nice clasp clasp similar to the ones that iWatches use. And then the face of it, in my opinion, looks super cool. It looks really good. It looks really elegant with that little space look to it. Fashion watches are up next. And these are, for the most part, going to be more of the trendy style watches. So you know how at one point Michael Kors was probably one of the most popular watches Ever. Well, that's considered a fashion watch. It's a watch that looks good. It looks trendy. It looks modern. It looks up to date, but it's not luxury. It doesn't have luxury parts. And at the end of the day, it's not necessarily from a luxurious manufacturer. Same goes for a few other ones, like let's say Mark Jacobs, Tommy Hilfiger, or any other ones that you use for, let's say, kids like the Spider Man one right here. A lot of the times, depending on the style, fashion and luxury can kind of be interchanged. But for the most part, when you look through some of the different fashion watches, like this one right here, you can tell that it looks looks a little bit more basic. It looks like you can wear it with a little bit more than you typically would with, let's say, a luxury watch. While a luxurious watch you can wear with jeans and just a regular shirt, it really doesn't matter. For the most part, it is going to be used more when going out or when dressing up. A fashion watch is going to be used every single day. These are the ones that you're going to wear to the office. You're going to wear it maybe even to the gym. These are the ones that you're probably going to bump on a desk. You might bump it on the door on your way out. These are the ones that are going to get a bit more nicks and hacks on them. These are the ones that are worn daily. In our sixth place, we're going to be talking about skeleton watches and I'm not talking about Jack Skeleton like this one right here because as dropshippers we all know we're not supposed to be selling these. No, I'm talking about skeleton watches as in this type right here. So what a skeleton watch essentially is, is a watch where you can see all of its insides. You can see how everything works inside it. And overall, it looks really cool. A lot of the times these can also be mechanical, but that's not all the time. What is mechanical? Well, mechanical means that it is charged as you walk. So as you're walking, your wrist swings and that little swinging motion will charge the battery on the watch itself. It's pretty cool, right? But that a lot of the times is limited to the the more luxurious or high-end style watches. The skeleton watches that we're going to be offering, however, are not necessarily going to have that particular functionality. I'm just letting you know because if you do find that, offer that. A lot of people love those. You don't have to worry about the battery. They're luxurious, they're nice, and they're very efficient. But aside from that, these are your typical skeleton watches that you're going to be finding. All of these, you can see all of the inside gears. You can see how they turn. You can see how everything works. But it is very important to note that some of these are just going to be a face. So it 
could just be a sticker or a printed layover that they're going to put on top of the face watch and it'll just look fake. So make sure when it comes to these particular types of watches, the skeleton face watches, you order a sample or you at least make sure to get some pretty detailed images to make sure that it's not just an image that they have inside the watch, but the actual gears or at least a transparent layering or something along those lines where you can see the inside of the watch. In our seventh spot, we have a unique one and that's wooden watches. Now for wooden watches, I'm actually showing Etsy rather than AliExpress because you're going to find some of the more unique options on there, especially since a lot of the ones on here are going to be handmade. Etsy offers tons of unique items and tons of handmade items. So everything that you find on here, you can offer at a pretty good marked up price. People are always willing to pay more for handcrafted and wooden. So a couple of features that you can mention about these is going to be for one, they're sustainable. And two, a lot of these wooden watches are actually extremely lightweight. They're not heavy at all. So it feels like you're not wearing anything in the first place. Also, just look at some of these different style watches. They are so elegant. They're so classic. They look somewhat minimalistic, some of them, like this one, for example. But they look absolutely gorgeous and their prices aren't that bad at all you can easily double these. Now, if you really want to make a statement or leave an impression on your customer, then look for one that comes in some very nice packaging like this one right here. It comes in its own box with its own pillow and the watch. Classic, straight to the point. Looks absolutely fantastic. Honestly, if I had to choose from all of the different watches that I have on this list that I'm going to mention or that I have mentioned, these wooden watches have to be my favorite. Next up, we have ultra thin watches. Now, the ultra thin watches are going to be those watches that are actually literally very, very thin. Some people like heavy watches, so they're going to have some thicker ones with some thick glass. It adds a little bit of weight to it and it just feels nice. It feels like you have something on your wrist, but some other people don't like that. Other people, other demographics of people, they prefer to have a more minimalistic style approach to their watches and and a more lightweight style approach to their watches. So let's take a look at this one, for example. This is probably the best example that we can find right now. And as you can see, the thickness of the watch itself is practically non-existent. It's not thick at all. It looks to be very, very thin at 6.5 millimeters. On top of that, if you just look at the watch face itself, you can see it's minimalistic. It's very basic. It's very simple. It's very elegant. Pocket watches are up next. And let me tell you that these are a classic staple. And I know we're not supposed to be selling these, but this one right here, this one piece pocket watch looks absolutely amazing. And I'm not considering selling it, but I am considering getting it for myself. It's very nice. Do you guys watch one piece? Let me know down in the comments below. Personally, I absolutely love the live action. I'm still watching the anime. I have to catch up. I'm still by the first arc and it's a extremely long series. But aside from that, some of these these other styles are extremely elegant. The designs on the actual watch themselves are absolutely fantastic. Like look at this one, for example. This is a vintage dark monster octopus or a Kraken. Look at the design on the actual pocket watch. This looks so nice. This looks very detailed. It looks very elegant. And this is the back. The actual octopus itself in the front same thing. It looks fantastic. It has a little bit of side emblems right here with the stars and some shells. It looks super cool. It looks very elegant. And this is something that is going to cater to a particular type of niche of people. This is not something that everyone is going to like. This is not something that everyone is going to use. But remember, it's always great to niche down so that way you can target particular groups of people. Of course, that's not the only style, though. You are going to be able to find some other ones that are a bit more simple, a bit more elegant. One, for example, being being this one right here with the royal flush or one that's like this one right here that has the little skeleton face on it and is a bit more mechanical. It's kind of a bit more classic, but it actually looks really cool. But if you do want your basic timepiece when it comes to pocket watches, just look for one like this. Before we continue, if you're enjoying this video, if you're enjoying all of the value on all of the information that I'm providing, please make sure to consider smashing that like button. I'm pretty sure if you made it this far, you do like the video. So just go ahead and smash that like button. Also, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future dropshipping videos and ring that little bell notification so you get notified whenever we upload. All right, let's continue. Next up, we got them iced out watches or that bling bling. So if I had grills right now, I'd totally be wearing them. But iced out watches are next. Iced out pretty much just means full of diamonds, rhinestones or cubic zirconias. These types of watches, accessories, jewelry pieces are extremely flashy and cater to a particular demographic of people. Me personally, I don't like it. It's not my thing, but there are definitely a lot of people and there's definitely a huge demographic of people that do in fact like these kinds of watches or this style of jewelry. Now looking through some of these you can see iced out literally means just full of ice or bling bling or 
diamonds or cubic zirconias or just gemstones or rhinestones overall. For the most part, there's going to be two different types of watches. There's going to be the ones that are filled everywhere with the particular stones, even on the face. But then there's also going to be some other ones that don't have it on the face, and it's just going to be on the watch itself. Now, just like some of the different watches that I talked about earlier, these can be stacked. These can be sold with different accessories to complement the watch itself. So things like oversized chains, thick bracelets, these kinds of accessories go perfect with the watch as long as they are in the same style, which is the iced out style. Next up, we have custom watches. Now, custom watches have their own unique style and can come in a few different options. For one, they can be something like this, where you have a personalized face, whether that be printed or in this case, laser engraved, or you can have a custom engraved message on the back of the watch itself like this one. Now, one of the best places that you can get these types of watches is again going to be Etsy because a lot of these are going to be handmade, handcrafted or hand engraved. So taking a look at this one right here, you can see that you can add both text on the back as well as the image itself. So let's click on no for this. And you can see that the watch itself comes out to about $40. Something like this personalized can again be sold for so much more. You can go ahead and take this and you can flip it. You can sell it on your own website and you can easily charge double or a little bit over double. Custom watches aren't just limited to that though. There's going to be a few other options like let's say this one right here, which has a custom face on it. Certain types of watches like this can also be customized by being able to change either the color of the face, the color of the band itself, the, the accents around the watch. All of these contribute to a customizable or a custom watch. But these are very specific, so you are going to have to look around and you are going to have to reach out to sellers to see how much of the actual watch they can customize. At number 12, we have kids watches. Now, when it comes to kids watches, you're going to have some very playful, some very colorful and some very rugged watches. Remember, kids fall, they bump into things all the time, they spill water, they spill juice. So when you're offering kids watches, make sure that you offer some that are very resistant. They're either water resistant, weather resistant, smash resistant. I don't think smash resistant is necessarily the term for it, but just make sure that they're durable. Kids watches a lot of the times are also going to come with some pretty playful designs, some fun characters, and you can also find some kids smart watches that have limited functionality. So they're not going to be as functional as a full blown smart watch because they do need to be limited a bit. You don't want to give kids access to everything that an adult is going to have on their watch or on their phone. A lot of the times these watches are also going to be a lot cheaper. They're going to be a lot more economical than your standard watch. Again, they're for kids. Some of them are not going to be as durable because again, they're for kids. They're not going to care about the watches. A lot of the times kids just want them just to have a watch, just to be able to say, look, I have a watch. They're kids. Other times they're good to be able to teach kids how they can actually tell time. So regardless of the reason for purchasing one or the parents reason for purchasing one, kids watches are going to come in tons of different variations. So just make sure you offer as much as you can. Offer some playful ones, offer some a bit more serious ones, offer some durable ones, offer some that can help teach the time, such as analog or digital. And even if some parents aren't going to necessarily like it, or even if you as a parent don't like it, try to offer also a smartwatch for kids. I know a lot of parents are very adamant about screen time with their kids. Some don't like it, some don't care. And a smartwatch can technically be considered a little bit of screen time because it's going to fascinate kids and they're just going to consistently be on it. So try to offer different variations to cater to different types of parents. Remember, while these are going to be geared towards kids, so they do need to be kid friendly, the ones that are going to be making the purchase are going to be the parents, not the kids. So always make sure you cater to both the kids and and the parents if possible. Bracelet watches are up next and these are primarily going to be catered towards women. Now bracelet watches are extremely fashionable. They are very simple. They are very minimalistic at times and other times it can be very flashy. The whole point behind a bracelet watch is going to be the band. So if you look at this one right here, you can see that the band is literally just a bracelet. So it's going to be a watch face on pretty much any kind of bracelet. They can either be small, they can be big, they can be extremely minuscule, they can be huge like this. Variations for this are going to vary wildly based on the person's taste. But for the most part, this is the type of watch that you're going to find. Something like this or one like this, which is actually in the form of a charm. Now, bracelet watches are definitely one of those options that you can also stack. You can offer these by themselves, but also offer them with a few different accessories. Offer them with different bracelets. Offer them maybe with two or three different bracelets because these watches in themselves are a lot of the times going to be thinner than most others, which leaves a lot of room to be able to stack multiple bracelets. So offer these by themselves. 
offer these in stacks, offer these in bundles, offer these by themselves. And when somebody goes to check out, offer them as an add on, maybe even at a discounted rate. People are going to purchase these in bundles or in stacks because generally speaking, that's how they're used. At number 14, we don't necessarily have a watch, but we have a watch repair kit. Watch repair kits are something that a lot of people are missing and find out they need right at the last minute. So what one of these kits is going to entail is simply going to be a few different tools to be able to either resize the watch if you have linked watches. So the little metal bands, you can take off a few of those different links to make them either smaller or bigger. They're also going to have different accessories to be able to change the batteries on watches or to simply clean them. And last but not least, we have another accessory, which is going to be the leather watch box or watch storage case. There's a lot of people that collect watches. There's a lot of watch connoisseurs and they need somewhere to put their watches. Most people aren't going to keep their watches in the factory box that they come in and just have a ton of different boxes in their room, in their office, closet, whatever it is. That's where these watch boxes come into play. As you can see, some have different compartments. So these have a few dedicated spaces for the watches themselves, but then they also have some accessory storage right under it, whether that be for your sunglasses, some straps or whatever else it may be. Others are solely dedicated to watches. So as you can see, this is more for a collector or somebody who actually likes to keep a lot of different watches on hand. This has tons of storage for a bunch of different watches. Now, these are just some options. There's going to be some other ones that are a lot more complex. They're a lot more complicated. They have a lot more storage and are more geared towards actual watch connoisseurs. So when it comes to drop shipping your watches, always make sure you can offer them in either bundles and stacks and offer accessories that can complement their watches or help them out with their collection. Like let's say these watch boxes right here. Like I mentioned earlier, watches are a huge seller. They're best sellers. They're winning products. People purchase and gift watches all the time for practically any occasion. It's just like jewelry or accessories. So if you're not drop shipping watches, then what are you waiting for? Like you just saw in the video, there's a lot of profitability in watches themselves. So if you're not drop shipping watches, you could be missing out on a lot of money. Now with that, we've reached the end of the video. If you found this video helpful, if you found it insightful, if you found it entertaining, please make sure you smash that like button. Also make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. Remember on this channel, we cover anything and everything drop shipping related, starting from some of the best products for you to drop ship all the way to some of the best tips and tricks to help you succeed in the game. So if that's something that interests you, make sure to subscribe. Huge thank you to everyone for watching again, especially if you made it all the way to the end. My name is Mario with AutoDS and I'll catch you all next time.